Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look and installing the Ultra Fab Spare Tire Carrier for RVs and trailers. During your towing adventure, you're only really one road hazard away from kind of being stuck on the side of the road. And if you don't have a spare tire, you could be waiting for a tow truck or someone to come by and help. But if you have your own spare tire, you can change that and be on the road in no time. But the problem is finding a place to store it sometimes can be tricky and you want it easily accessible as well. And that's where this mount comes into play. This is a bumper mount. So it's going to go on your standard RV four inch bumpers perfectly. And you can see it just uses U-bolts and attaches to the bracket here to give you a nice secure mounting point for your spare tire. Now this is gonna work great for most trailer applications, most trailer wheels, and also automotive wheels. And because you have only two studs here to mount up, that's gonna allow you to get one there. And having this plate, it really doesn't matter your bolt pattern, it's gonna be able to mount up and hold it in place for you. Now do keep in mind that this is not gonna work with dually style wheels or your class A or class C motorhomes. Now another nice feature is the ability to actually get this in a tilt function. So here we have it fixed by putting a bolt through here, but it does come with the pin and clip allowing you to pull that out and this will drop down. So if you have anything stored back here, you'll be able to gain access to it pretty easily. Since this does live on the outside of your camper or trailer, it's going to be exposed to a lot of weather, presumably. And the great part about it is it does have a black powder coat finish. So over time, this is going to be able to withstand those elements pretty easily. Now, it also has a 60 pound weight restriction. So generally, that's going to be perfectly fine for your trailer tires and wheels. But you do want to make sure that you're not overloading it. You're going to want to determine where you're actually mounting up your spare tire carrier and you're also going to want to check and see if you actually want the tilting function so there's a solid bolt here that keeps it upright but you do have the ability to take this out with a pin and clip in place this allows it to tilt so if you need to gain access to anything um, if you have a storage compartment or whatever it may be you have the ability to move that out of the way but since we really don't need to access anything we've gone ahead with our solid bolt here so we can go ahead and get this resting here where we want it and then we'll just take a U-bolt here and we're going to just pass this through. And once we get both studs through that plate, we can go ahead and follow this up with a split washer. And then we'll just take our nuts here and I'm just going to get this hand tightened on so we can get our other one in place. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to tighten these nice and evenly. You also want to make sure that your U-bolts are nice and parallel with each other. That way it's evenly distributing the force on the bracket. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of in a cross pattern here, I'm going to tighten on our top one. And then we'll go to the bottom one here and then we'll just crisscross. And that way it's nice and evenly distributed. Now we don't have to get crazy tight here because I'm actually going to go back with the torque wrench and uh, that's going to allow us to really get the perfect amount of torque on here, not put too much stress on the threads, but also make sure that it doesn't become loose over time. Now going back with my torque wrench, I've set the torque to the settings in the instruction manual and uh, it's a pretty low setting, but this is again pretty important just to make sure that we're not over tightening these. Now if you need a torque wrench, we actually have them here available at eTrailer. You can generally rent them at an auto parts store, um, but we want to make sure and go through our hardware as a lot of the hardware in the kit does have a torque setting that we're going to need to follow. So it's nice to have this handy and know that it's being installed properly. Now we're going to take our wheel studs here and uh, we're going to place this little uh, this plate on here and this is going to keep this from backing out over time so you can actually thread this on to make it a little bit easier but uh, again this is just going to keep tension on it and make sure that it doesn't actually fall out it's just kind of a holder there we go we'll go ahead and do the same for the other side So now we'll grab our spare tire. We're also gonna grab our bracket as well as the lug nuts that came in the kit. And to get this on, we're gonna, it's gonna work with a bunch of different wheel patterns or bolt patterns, I should say. Um, but we're gonna hang this one on the top here. And I'm gonna just get my lug nut started here. 
So now our stud doesn't actually align with our other wheel studs, which is okay because we have this bracket. And this is gonna just go here across the whole of the wheel and allow this to really hold this in place pretty well. So we'll go ahead and get this tightened down. So just as we would the lug nuts on our car, we're gonna make sure that these are torqued down properly and that way they're gonna be nice and secure. And that was a look and installation of the Ultra Fab spare tire carrier for RVs and trailers.